Good morning and welcome to Sonnet Institute of Technology. My name is Bruce Malauti and I would like to welcome you to the Rated Enterprise Linux EX200 XM video course. This is module 1 of 1 and I would like to demonstrate you on how to build a virtual lab for your practice. Rated exams are hands on, therefore you will need a practical lab to prepare for your exam. Using a virtual lab is better than um, using a physical lab for different reasons and some of the uh, uh, VM hypervisors or VM um, softwares are paid for. Uh, virtual box is free, GNS is free, Linux KVM is free, Unit Lab is free. Uh, VMware Workstation or VMware EXI or the Citrix, they offer enterprise uh, options which are paid for. So I will explain a little bit more on what is the advantage of using virtual labs over physical labs. Virtual labs are cheap because you just need one machine that will act as a host and all your virtual machines will act as guests inside. Virtual labs are fast and easy to set up. You don't need um, extra knowledge or technical knowledge on that. Virtual labs are, can save you time, meaning that um, it's easy to set up and you don't have to spend much time um, setting up a virtual lab compared to a physical lab and in virtual lab you can create snapshots which can be reverted uh, back to within seconds if not minutes and since we do not have cables um, involved in this uh, virtual lab uh, setup it means you have less admin overhead and you have easy control um, when using a virtual lab. Obviously you save energy and virtual labs can be expanded at any time when needed. And most of the time you can get it free or you can go for paid option if you want to or if you need uh, better features. But the disadvantages of using virtual lab is that you have hardware limitations for example um, if your ram or cpu power is low uh, it means you can only uh, visualize few uh, guests and that will impact your performance as well and apart from that uh, you can have a single point of failure meaning that if the host machine fails it means all the guests vms will fail And since we have different uh, uh, hypervisors or VM uh, softwares, uh, in my case, I prefer to use GNS3 over VirtualBox or VMware Workstation. These are the reasons why I prefer using GNS3 in my virtual labs. GNS3 is free, just like uh, VirtualBox whilst VMware workstation is paid for. Installing VM, VMware guests in, in GNS3 is faster than using a virtual box of VMware workstation. Thirdly, you can easily create multiple networks of VLANs within GNS3. And if you need switches or routers, there is a um, free source routers and switches available for download which can be used in GNS3 without license limitations. And of course, if you have uh, proprietary images such as Cisco, Juniper, A5 Checkpoint, Mac OS or even Windows can be emulated in GNS3. In the next screenshot, I'd like to show you uh, an overview of how uh, my Red Dead Enterprise Linux lab looks like in GNS3. And please note that um, for this setup, 
you can do it in VirtualBox or VMware or whatever uh, hypervisor you prefer to use. Uh, using JNS3 is just my personal preference and there's nothing wrong using VirtualBox or VMware Workstation. I just prefer JNS3 for, uh, for the reasons which I've just uh, highlighted earlier on. So let's proceed to JNS3 and show you the, an overview. This is my JNS3 and I've got a couple of hosts on my left hand side and we will particularly be interested in the Red Hat Enterprise Linux appliance and if I have to create a, um, a topology right now um, I just have to drag and drop drag the appliance and drop it on the workstation over here so if I need, let's say, four um, rated enterprise servers running at the same time, so I just have to drag and drop four times. So that will be one, two, three, four. And if these four servers need to be on the same network, I can interconnect them with only one switch. But if I want these servers to be on a separate network, I can include a router. So that will be two servers on one network and the other two servers on a separate network. So I need to add one more switch like this. So I have four rated servers, two switches. Basically these are uh, Cisco switches. And if you want to use open source switch, you are welcome to use open source switch. That will be the open switch. And I've got a Cisco router here as well. And if you'd like to use the open source router, you are welcome to. It is called VIOS. It's found on the uh, GNS3 download site. So at the moment, um, I can interconnect these devices. So I'm connecting that server to the switch and this server to the switch. And I can connect this switch to the router and that switch to the router. And I can do that as well. All right, so now I have a full topology. So this router will actually separate networks so I can have one network of this side and the other network that side. So at this time, I can simply start the servers and the switch, including the router. So while it's booting, um, I like to show you the boot screen. So I just have to double click on one of the servers as they boot. Okay, whilst you are waiting for the server to boot, uh, let me visit one of the switches. So if I double click on the switch, the switch is up. So it's a Cisco switch. So if I do a uh, show run, can see all the information about this switch and if I do show IP interface brief I can see all my interfaces on the switch if I go to the router and do show run running the Cisco router version 15.4 and if I scroll down and do show IP interface brief in this case nothing is assigned on the interfaces no IP and the interfaces are down so if I want to assign the IP addresses I can do that now let's go back to the rated servers. I think they already they are fully booted, so I just have to double click on any one of them. Okay, 
looks like it's still booting or it's ready okay the server is ready so i can log in so i will log in as bruce and enter my secret password I have successfully logged in so I can exit from here and try another server random server let's try server number four I can log in as well if I want to enter my secret password Okay, I am logged in and if I want to start the terminal now, I can do that and SU to become root, enter the root password and I am root. So let me exit from here. So basically this is how the, um, the Reddit Enterprise Linux lab looks like in GNS3. Um, all four servers are running at the same time these two servers can be on a separate network to those servers but for the purpose of the uh, ex200 exam you only need a maximum of two servers here i've in, i've set up four servers just to show you that it's possible to run four servers and, and separated with the router as well in the next video i will demonstrate on how to install or to 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 to, to set up the Red Dead Enterprise Linux server and client and I hope this has been informative and thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video goodbye for now